here's day two on this build and I've been at it for a couple hours I'm having a hell of a trouble well first of all I got part of the plate and put together at least got the rollers on I'm having a hell of a problem getting things to work right and I think this whole assembly up here and this arm is just undersized it's just got too much movement I can't get this thing to track where I want it to track it runs I mean that's a hell of a hell of a thing but if you look here the back rollers off to the left a little and so are the front rollers but something's pushing it to the left and I don't know what and if you look at how I have the uh, I, uh, the alignment it's really sticked up so something's out of whack and it's kicking my ass because it's so damn close to working load the belt doesn't move anywhere but um, just can't dial that turn of this in let's keep that one all right an hour later touchy little son of a gun I'll tell you very very touchy but I think it's going to be all right there. I think I'm good finally. Ultimately, it was the left and right placement of that idler the alignment. There you have it. All right. <clears throat> so now I made second mod to the sander. Um, Got an 8 inch long tractor wheel or something like that, lawn mower wheel. Um, it's going to do for now until I can save the money. It's a little narrow. I ordered a, um, a 2 inch wide caster, so that'll carry me until I can get another 100 bucks to put into a, um, a regular wheel if I'm going to. But That is Bad. Not too bad at all. 
Uh, once again, the rain's going to ruin the day, but I put a plate on there. It's fixed. Not adjustable, but you know what? That's good enough for me right now. I took the arm, shortened it, and gave it a little 90. Well, kind of 90. I really had hoped to get this thing brushed up and, uh, and uh, painted today, but I don't think it's going to unless that rain stops. This stuff will work really good. See what the rain does. Well, I decided today I wasn't going to let the rain win, so I got the baby painted up. Maybe not the best paint job in the world, but I'll tell you, it looks like something. It surely does. Crank this sucker on. That's probably the lowest cost belt sander you can make. I'm really glad I did it. It is freaking awesome.